inch. I'm doing a fluorescent uh, pour on an old canvas. You can see a little bit of the paint coming through here, which I'm afraid that's what might happen to the canvas itself. But I refuse to throw it out. And I don't have gesso. I wish I had gesso to go over it, but I don't. Anyway, we'll see how it dries. And if it dries very well, I'll just put a resin over it. And uh, resin takes care of a lot of nice stains, you know, that you think it won't, but it does compensate for a lot. You can't think of resin as being the, the savior, but you could use it as somewhat to help you when you have issues like that. What I'm going to do I'm too hard because I don't want the this colors to come out. I always like to do. So let's see, let's do another one. You like that? So cute. I got so much paint. put some white in this with the fluorescent colors because I thought maybe it would do something different and uh, somewhat it did somehow I don't know very little not a whole lot different <laughs> but uh, it'll cover some of the old paint Give it a blowtorch in a few minutes and see what happens. Looks like a and once I torch it, that'll move it a little bit. I'll, I'll move it a little bit with the torching.
long enough for me to do something about it. It was just for all this time, for months. And I said, maybe I'll just paint it all black and get rid of that ugly paint that I had on it. Just give it a few minutes and let it let it uh, marinate a little bit. Those uh, let those cells come up a little. I think somebody do this like spray some uh, of uh, silicone. I don't know. I don't think that really works. I seen someone do that, and I I really don't think that works at all. I mean, if it does, maybe very, very little. So take my advice. Don't really do that. <laughs> I just did it just for, I guess, the next. Tone on it, like I do with the. Resin. It'll work, because. The methicone really works good. It's a good thing. A lot. And I mean this one. This one is good. I am almost finished with it. It doesn't even have a label. How you like that? It's dimethicone anyway. I'm going to give it heat for a little bit more. And see if it pops some, some silicone to come to the surface. Okay, this is nice and hot. Just making sure it's hot. Okay. And um I also use some GAT on it because GAT keeps, it prevents your painting from cracking. So that helps. And uh, I'll show you in a couple of days how to you for now what it looks like now up close. I got some cells there. I'm happy with that. It's like a yellow and white there. And some pink lavender I put in there, hot pink. I don't know what happened to my hot pink. Some of it came through. I like this one, the way this one looks. I got some cells everywhere. And this is so pretty. I really like that. Very happy with this one. It's down here, so bright. a lot more cells and a lot more cells on the top there I am very happy with this one and I'm um, hoping it stays the way it is. I'm pretty much it will stay the way it is. So that's it for today. Love you all. Have a great weekend. What's left of it? And I got to go get some sleep. I'm really sleepy. Bye. Love you. Bye.